Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at the surface area of a cuboid. Now this will work for cubes as well, um, so I'm doing a cuboid just for this example. So now the surface area is, if I have a three-dimensional shape, it's the area of all of the sides added together. So each surface added together. So a cube has six sides, or a cuboid has six sides. So if I draw one that's kind of see-through, like that, you can see better the three-dimensional structure. So we've got one side, which is this side here, and its opposite side at the back, which is that one there. Then if I just grab a different colored pen, actually, we have this one at the side, which is equivalent to this on my diagram, and the one opposite that, which is that side. And then my final one, grab another color, is this top side, which is the equivalent of this on the diagram, and the one opposite, the bottom side. So we've got six sides in total on our cube or cuboid, and we can call those surfaces. So we've got six surfaces or six faces, as we sometimes call them. Okay, so surface area is where we add up the areas of all of those faces. So we need to bear in mind the parts we can't see. So let's start with what I did in green on this. So the front side, which is this side. And we must remember that there's that back one as well. So in our three dimensional shape, there was one side that looked like this towards the back and they're both the same size. So my area is two sides of the area of this, which is five times seven. So five times seven is 35, and we've got two of them. So overall, 35 times two, I have two areas of 70 centimeter cubed total. So that's my front and my back. Now let's do those side ones. So that side, and remember there's one hidden behind here that is the same size. So now we need to look at our shape. So I can tell that the bottom is three and I need to find therefore the height. Well, the height of this is the same as the height of that uh, side. So if that's five, this is also five. So that is a rectangle with a height of five and a base of three. So I've got two sides of height of five, base of three. And so five times three is 15. We've got two of them. We mustn't forget that second side that's hidden. And so 15 times two is 30. So in total, We've got 30 centimeters cubed of those two sides. And then our last two sides, this top one. Oh, that pen is a little bit dodgy, but we'll see. So it's this top side and the bottom as well that we can't see. So we've got two sides of... Now again, we need to look at our shape. So this length, is the same as this length, which is seven. And then this one is the same as this. So it's three. So these are the same, seven times three. So seven times three is 21. And we've got two of them, top and bottom. So it's times two. So overall, both those sides make 42 centimeters squared. Now we're using centimeters squared, not centimeters cubed, because we're finding the areas 
of all these sides. Good, so now count my sides, two, four, six. I know that my cube or cuboid has six faces. So I know that I have the right number. And I can also sort of check these numbers here. So I should have essentially a system where I'm timesing each number by all of the others. So there shouldn't be any repeats. So it's worth checking for that, checking I'm not accidentally doing five times seven twice. And also, you know, using these colors, actually helps me see which sides I've done and which ones I need to do. Okay, so having done that, I've got this, the areas of each of my pairs of sides and what I do is I just add those together. So 70 plus 30 is 100 plus 42 is 142 we're still in centimetres square, but my answer is 142 centimetres squared for the surface area of a cuboid.